I don't know what it is, but it's just something about them 90s that just hit different. These are the Nike Air Zoom Flight 98s or the gloves. The Zoom Flight 98 originally coming out in 1998, worn by top 75 player of all time, GP Gary Payton, the glove. I'm going to upset some people right here, but I have to talk about it not technically his shoe like i said and mentioned in other videos if you watch my other platforms too nike would do this thing where they would make this one person like the spokesman marksman marketing agent whatever you want to call it of that shoe we're still going to call these the gary's i never seen nobody else with them but yes it's technically not his shoe but we all know Gary made this shoe popular. So yeah, that's why people associate them with Gary because Gary was the only one wearing them. The nickname literally comes from him. So yes, I know why people will be infuriated in the comments. Oh, you think you know everything, Dre? No, I'm just reading what it technically says. This is just facts, people. So please don't kill me in the comments. The shoe was designed by the legendary Eric Avar Avar. Hope I pronounced that right. But yes, the guy behind a lot of Kobe Bryant's legendary shoes. I don't know how y'all feel about Kobe's, but yeah, he's a legend in his own right. Put some respect on his name. But back to the shoes. Gary Payton's best shoe in his whole arsenal throughout his career. No debate. The Zoom Flight 98 was the first shoe to use a full length zipper. It's not the first shoe to use a zipper, but a full length zipper. That's what made it super popular. The full length zipper was to cover up the monkey paw inside. Also to fit glove tight. Like the glove. Oh my God. Nike was such a genius with using Gary Payton as the marketing man. If you were wondering, the monkey paw system was to help you prevent yourself from spraining your ankle and stuff like that. Very innovative of Nike back in 1997, 1998. Other shoes to feature the monkey paw feature was the Nike T-Bucks, a shoe notably worn by Tim Hardaway. These is so hard to come across because they haven't been retro since its original release in what, 1997, 1998? Don't quote me on that, but around that time, these are so fire. These will literally probably cost you about a thousand plus. Like, bro, we need a retro. Sometimes I look at Nike and I'm like, what are we doing back there, bro? Like, we get some bullshit. Like, these is fire. The monkey paw and the full lift zipper was just revolutionary for its time, especially made for basketball. But you know damn well we didn't wear for basketball. Not my time. I wasn't there in the original release. I was born, but way too young to understand. I'm pretty sure these went hard back in the day. I will say this, but when they did get their retro in 2013, I swear to God, my freshman year of college, if people were still in high school, I know people was in high school at that time, but uh, my era is what I'm trying to say, A, these up. When I say we got a proper retro in 2013, we got all the OG colorways, which is the black and white and the white and black hard. Then we came out with some Duke colorways that was super fire. Then we got this Joker colorway. Then we then they came out with the Miami Heat PE that he wore in the NBA Finals. Like the gloves definitely got his proper retro in 2013, and these was hard. Now, like I said, I don't know how people feel about basketball shoes these days as a fashion statement, but you know we wear kicks. This is not the channel for you if it's only trendy shoes now although the shoes haven't been retro since 2013 god damn when i say so many people in my inbox daily like they really people really look at me as like the prophet now i do have some insight that nike and other people that work for nike do pay attention to my platforms i'm happy for that yes I'm giving them permission <laughs> if I'm the spokesperson for that type of shit. Yes, the gloves need a retro. High demand. I don't know how well they will perform today, but the OG community that wants this type of stuff been asking for a retro for a very long time. It's been 11 years. What are we doing? This is a very popular shoe. If, we, if, if I'm saying... If I'm looking back at the 90s, I'm putting like 20 shoes or 15 shoes 
and like okay that represents the 90s i think the gloves come in that conversation that's just me let me know in the comments how you feel about the gloves what shoe should i do next if you think about it i probably got it and i'll do a video on it man like subscribe i'm on the road to 100k man until next time